Hi everyone, it's Alfred, and I'm going to be reading a little something from R No Sleep, since Reddit's been my main squeeze as of late. This is a story called The Stranger, <clears throat> and I'll be using my mighty voice to read it. Alright. All my life, I've suffered sleep paralysis. Normally, I don't get nightmares during it. Just still. I can't move, but I'm not awake, and I'm not dreaming, and I'm not really sleeping. I'm just stuck. It's scary, but only because of a lack of control. For the same reason that the fear of the dark is so common. A fear of a lack of control and a lack of understanding is what defines humanity. You've probably heard of sleep paralysis. I don't really need to explain it. But what I might need to explain is the stranger. The stranger is a technique dating back to the dawn of man. You sit on your hand long enough until it falls asleep. And then you masturbate. With a, a sleep hand, that is. Then it feels like someone else is doing it. Maybe someone sitting behind you giving you a reach around. I don't know. I mean, I do know. I'm, yeah. I, hmm. Anyway, I heard about it in high school as just a joke, something some dumb kids are talking about. You know how it is. Kids bring up things just because they want you to know that they know about sex, regardless of what they actually do or don't know. And then for most people, the stranger wouldn't feel good. It's not exactly great. It's just masturbating with extra steps. But something about it appealed to me from the second I heard of it. And I knew that I had to try it. And I was hooked. From that day forth, I never went back. Every time I masturbate, I have to sit on my hand for sometimes an hour. I've probably got, gotten carpal tunnel from the combination of sitting on my hand and copious masturbation immediately afterwards. I sue me. I was a teenager. Anyway. I've never had the stranger go wrong, or so I thought. In June 2016, I did the stranger, and then I went to sleep. In the very, very early hours of the morning, I... Woke up. Sort of. I was in the throes of my sleep paralysis. All my life I've wondered why I go to sleep ramrod straight and wake up thrown around like a cushion. But that night I learned why. My hand would wake up before me. See, I would sit on my hand until it fell asleep. Because my hand went to sleep first, it got a few extra hours of sleep. And so, it would wake up a little before me. So, seeing as it was still stuck to my body, it just had the run of the place. Couldn't move me very far, so it just kind of dragged me around. The machinations of the mind of the hand aren't something I'm privy to. But today was different, because I was also awake, sort of. Probably because it was connected to me, it could tell that I knew and I was awake. And what happened next shocked me. The hand became still, like it was hoping that I hadn't seen it, like a spider hiding in its web. I held my breath trying to keep myself still, even though I was still paralyzed. There's a theory of consciousness that the mind is something manufactured and made up by your individual cells. A bunch of cells acting together does not a person make. The mind is what separates us from a mass of coral or something like that. But there's a school of thought where people believe that the mind 
is just something that all the cells, all the trillions of cells in a human body affect. They falsify. Because if something believes that they are a cohesive unit, they will protect themselves. They will act in interest of themselves. They will act as one, whether or not it's actually true. And so your cells fool you into thinking that you are one, when in actuality, you are trillion. And for the first time, I was seeing firsthand, as it were, that exactly. I was seeing my hand, my cells, act independently of me. I knew that it probably wasn't going to end well. Eventually, my hand decided that I had seen too much. With my fingers, it crawled over and wrapped around my neck, choking me. I couldn't do anything. I was still paralyzed. And then my other hand woke up. At first I thought it was going to save me, but no. And that was how I discovered autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, did you, you made it to the end of the video? Did you like it? Um, I couldn't put anything explaining this in the description because it would give away the joke, but uh, I've been awake for the past a uh, long while. I know I talk about that a lot, but uh, I've been awake for a little bit, and I was like, hmm, wouldn't it be funny if... And I just ad-libbed this whole video there's no script or anything i'm just coming up with it in three different across three different takes these are also all the first takes to make sure it's as raw as can be um yeah Th which is also why uh no one is credited in the video title or description like written by someone because i came up with it and it's me um <laughs> This is a silly thing, but I had a lot of fun. This is actually the second idea for a video of this type that I came up with. Like, I've actually had an idea to do a fake R no sleep before. Um, this is the second idea for a fake R no sleep I, I came up with. So, yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys next time. I'll upload more Let's Plays no one watches and uh, some meme videos that occasionally get some clout. I've been Alfred. See you around. <laughs>